Georgia's Secretary of State's office is confirming angry 2020 texts from Brad Raffensperger's wife to then Senator Kelly Loeffler are accurate. Trisha Raffensperger was upset at Loeffler for calling for her husband's resignation, and she blamed Loeffler for threats against her family. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is live outside the state capitol with what Loeffler is now saying about those texts. Richard. Yeah, let's remember how volatile everything was in the days after the 2020 election. Kelly Leffler joined Donald Trump in condemning Brad Raffensperger. Raffensperger later admitted that both he and his wife had endured death threats from people who believed that there was massive voter fraud across Georgia. And uh, in November 2020, Trisha Raffensperger texted Kelly Leffler to say she didn't appreciate any of it. Georgia Secretary of State's office confirmed Thursday these November 2020 texts from Trisha Raffensperger to then-Senator Kelly Leffler, first obtained by the AJC, are real. Quote, never did I think you were the kind of person to unleash such hate and fury on someone in political office of the same party. Days earlier, Leffler joined then-Senator David Perdue, condemning Brad Raffensperger for not doing more to overturn Georgia's elections in Donald Trump's favor. Mrs. Raffensperger let Leffler know that was not appreciated. Quote, my family and I am being personally besieged by people threatening our lives. And quote, I hold you personally responsible for anything that happens to any of my family. You do not deserve to be in elected office. Senators, you have not condemned this language or these actions. This has to stop. These texts happen at roughly the same time in 2020 when the Secretary of State's office and elections workers were getting threats from people convinced there had been massive voter fraud across Georgia, something multiple investigations proved didn't happen. In a statement, Leffler's spokesperson didn't deny the text, but thought the timing of their leak was suspicious. Quote, the liberal media are being weaponized by criminal elements on the left to promote unverified content in a desperate attempt to distract voters 20 days from the election. Veteran political consultant Fred Hicks has worked on Republican and Democratic campaigns. He also thinks the timing of their release is no coincidence, but thinks they could actually help both Republican Brad Raffensperger and Georgia Democrats. These text messages timed at, timed at this point again put Donald Trump at the, at the center and the heart of Georgia elections, and that can only really benefit Democrats. And, of course, Kelly Leffler lost her race to now Senator uh, Raphael Warnock. Leffler did go on, though, on the floor of the Senate to vote to certify the election. We are live in downtown Atlanta. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News. And